So hello guys, welcome to the Hensley Homestead vlog. Today I wanted to start the vlog. Don't really have everything situated quite the way I'd like to, but sometimes you just gotta do something even if it's wrong. So what we're doing today is this is the January the second, 2019. We're putting in a ram pump system. I don't know if you guys have are familiar with that but uh, you can check them out online uh, they've been around since I think the late 1700s it's just a, a pump that works off uh, water itself to, to actually use a water pressure to pump water and so it's it's totally self-sufficient uh, there's no electricity it's, it's merely a, a mechanical device that operates itself so guys this is what i'm talking about us building a ram pump we're trying to be able to pump this water here this pond here uh down over the the berm here is where we'll be picking it up at the outflow and then we'll be hopefully pumping it to these fields right along here soon to be fields right now it's just brush that we're going to work on reclaiming. Robert is down there right now trying to get a line into the pipe um, so we can fish a smaller three quarter inch water line through our outflow and hook it up. We'll go down there in a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Where I've got my latest research from is Landa House. So Wrangler Star is where I first saw an actual ram pump, I'm sure. Uh, Many you homesteaders are familiar with him. Another thing, when you uh, wrap your Teflon tape, do it clockwise, and I usually start mine at the back, wrap it to the front. A lot of times I just paint it on. Uh, you actually have two tops. You have the tape top, and then you have um, what they what they call dope, and it actually paints on with a brush. This is just a little bit neater. The dope, I tend to get it everywhere. So something like this, where I'm handling it a lot, I just use the tape. So one thing I can explain a little bit to you is here. Um, is you have a valve and you have a union this helps you take it apart isolate different parts components in case uh, since this is a mechanical device things will break down over time and need repair cleaning out uh, this is the heart and soul of it this is your heart of the pump uh, it's got a flapper in here uh, this is again another valve so it's a series of two gate valves is what causes this thing to operate and also your pressure tank. Um, I'll explain it again when we get it together. And uh, another union, again, to make assembly disassembly easier. And then another valve. Uh, and actually, we're going to put a bypass on the end of ours. We'll show that to you later here uh, with another valve. So we're going to have an additional valve on ours. So we can either let this be running so it won't freeze in the winter or we can switch it over where we can actually have uh, water in the field. So this thing's going to be uh, isolated in the winter uh, or, or any time that we're not using it. So it's not sitting there pumping uh, to give us more life out of it. So when we're not using it, we'll have this bypass. It'll be, just be spewing out water. And then when we're using it, we'll turn that off, which will energize the system.
guys, we got to end the video there. We lost the footage of the three-quarter inch ram pump. Um, it didn't quite work the way we wanted it to. Anyhow, uh, in order to get the ram pump to pump, we had to throttle it back significantly. So it just really wasn't going to work for us. It's kind of a shame because the three-quarter inch pop, uh, you know, the pieces, the parts, the check valves, all that is much cheaper than uh, what we went with. We ended up actually going with an inch and a quarter ram pump, and we'll show you that in the next video. But we were able to use some of the components from the three-quarter inch ram pump because we actually necked it down. So in order for it to work well, it's got to have that, that step down, create pressure. So if you do it mathematically and you take the surface area of an inch and a quarter versus three-quarter inch, it's roughly twice the surface area inside the pipe. So uh, that, that's a necessity because where the ram pump is working on gravity feed on one side and then pressurized on the other, it needs to have that additional volume in order to make for the oscillation in the pump. You can get a three quarter inch ram pump to, to work, but you have to throttle it back in order to do so. So it has that back pressure and it needs that back pressure. The back pressure is necessary. In, in order for it to develop pressure all right guys well thanks so much please check out our next video on the inch and a quarter ramp pump y'all have a good day